Hi friends. You may notice that I'm here at my house. I am not in our atrium. And the reason for that is because there are still many people in our community right now who are getting sick with a virus. And one of the ways we can help each other to not get sick and to make sure that um, our doctors and our nurses and other people who are helping to take care of us don't get sick is to stay home as much as we can. That helps make sure we don't share germs. It's just like when you wash your hands or when you cough into your elbow or you wipe your nose when you sneeze. Maybe some of you have been wearing masks. All of these are ways that we can help each other not get sick. And so right now, one of the ways I can help is to stay home, but I can still do my prayer table here. Now, you can hear my baby in the background. She's trying to go to sleep, so don't worry. I'm going to set up a prayer table on my floor because I don't really have a table that's easy to use. But I have a green cloth. I have some candles. This prayer card is very special to me. I'll hold it a little bit closer so you can see it. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. Put that here for me to think about. And then I have an icon. This icon's really special to me. Kind of makes me wonder how Jesus can see us, even though we can't see Jesus. The icon almost looks like it's seeing me or looking at me. And I know it's a picture, but it's one of the things the icon helps me think about. We'll put that right here. You might have other things at your prayer table or in your prayer table area. Right now, that's kind of what I have. So I'm going to light my candles. I will get out my snuffer so that it's ready. A lot of the times when we think about our atrium or maybe when we think about church, it has a lot of special things in it, doesn't it? We think about the special altar and its special cloths, where we think about our prayer table and all of our prayer cards and the beautiful things people have made. Maybe you think about the colors of our church. Maybe you think about the special things that we see at our baptism area or the stained glass windows. Those things are really beautiful, aren't they? And so it can feel different to be home without all of those things. But even here on this little mat, I can pray and be with God. My prayer card tells me that the Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. I'm so thankful that I have food and water. I'm thankful for my house. I'm thankful for Jack and June and Joanna, my kids, and for Father Preston, my husband, for Sonia, my dog. People who help me to feel God's love in a special way. I'm thankful for this cloth, these candles, this icon that help me make a quiet spot even when I'm at home and I'm not in the atrium. I wonder what are some things that you're thankful for? What are some things that you are glad that you have? that your good shepherd maybe has given you. Maybe your mom and dad or grandparents or relatives or friends, maybe your bed, books, a table to eat at, good food. Maybe there are some beautiful things in nature that you're thankful for that God's given us or Maybe you have a prayer table at your home you're thankful for. 
I am thankful that our Good Shepherd knows everything we need. And there's nothing, there's nothing that God forgets. That's special, isn't it? God never forgets what we need. God is always ready to give it to us. This makes me think of a song that I want to sing here. And then I'll pray for us and, and I'll say goodbye. The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him always. He knows me and he loves me. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. God, thank you for giving us everything we need. Thank you for all of my friends. Thank you for keeping us safe and help us to be good neighbors to each other. Help us to take care of each other. Help us to love each other in big ways and in small ways with kind words and with kind actions. And help us as we mix being together to still know that we can be with you. Amen. Bye, friends.